This conference will now be recorded. This conference will now be recorded. Can you quickly address uh, the things what we covered? Uh, the topic, the conference, whatever we discussed, you know, uh, in this discussion. Uh, so we are, we are looking at our lightning development isn't it so when you say lightning uh, development right how do you develop application to run in lightning experience it's of two different frameworks we have right we have two different frameworks to develop lightning uh, application right <laughs> Our lightning development and lightning web components. Okay, normally you would see uh, there would be a dedicated course for uh, our lightning development. Then, you know, you may need to, uh, then you will catch up lightning web development and start lightning web development. But to combine these two, you know, the, in this batch, uh, may not be the case. Uh, the next further back okay so we are uh, fortunately we have this uh, combine this so you uh, okay you have good good opportunity to plan for the uh, development framework in one stretch okay so try to place so we are into our lightning development so we know how what is a lightning component we have created a component Right, and uh, we have created an uh, application, writing application. And the component is a functional unit. Then it application is used to preview the component. Right, so you just include the component in the application, you can preview. It. And component is a functional unit. So any application, any page, writing page you create, so you will break the page into different small components. Isn't it? So you, uh, in order to increase the reusability of the component, so wherever you need a particular component, you will include that component. That's a that's a, it's a functional unit of uh, it's a functional unit. It's a lightning uh, development, isn't it? And uh, the component has a bundle. The component is a bundle, right? It has component itself XML element. And uh, uh, where, it, where it can uh, have HTML standard components, everything you can, I mean, you can include the UI components. And right, the bundle as XML and uh, JS controller, helper, uh, SVG tokens, design, CSS, right, and description. So, <coughs> isn't it? So this is what I am talking about. Right, almost eight elements here. So, and the application is also a bundle. And the component uh, can be placed in, how to place the component in lightning uh, record page. Then, no, so you have seen interfaces, standard interfaces, right? Standard interfaces like a, a flexi page, colon, uh, available for all page types, Flexi page available for record form. Isn't it? With the help of the interface, you can 
expose your components into record uh, detail page or home page or application. Very and we also see in the interfaces like as record ID, uh, isn't it? To get the record ID dynamically from the URL. So where you place the component, which record page you place the component. From there you can get the uh, you can get the record ID of that particular page. Right? That's what you see in interface. And uh, when you build the components, you have seen different types of uh, tags, isn't it? Uh, standard components like uh, uh, writing input, writing button, right? It belongs to lightning namespace. It belongs to lightning namespace, lightning code and input, lightning code and button, isn't it? And uh, lightning card. Lightning layout, right? <coughs> lightning layout and the lightning formatted, uh, formatted uh, inputs uh, display like uh, text, uh, email, phone number, date, right? <coughs> and what are other things we covered? What are other things we covered? We have seen attributes, right? How to how to declare attributes? So attributes like a member in a class. So how to declare a variables to store the value temporarily in the component and the JavaScript, right? So attributes. We have seen how to declare attributes, and we have seen handler. How to uh, call a method in JS controller based on event or a handler. So this basically belongs to our NMC. Ara handler and uh, among Ara, we also seen uh, Ara if. Among Ara, we can see we have seen handler if set to set the attributes. We have seen this, you know, when you uh, need to set a uh, action attribute, right? To appear, to have a button at, uh, up here, uh, place in the right side, top right side corner of the lightning card. So we use Ara set. So RS it can be used to set any type of any attribute of the parent component, like the phase in class. Okay, so Ara and Lev. And uh, uh, attributes in attributes you have seen primitive and uh, how to set a S object type also, right? S object type. Isn't it? And uh, of course you have seen list, how to declare a list array. Isn't it? Primitive array type, the subject type. And uh, how to call a controller, a flex controller from lightning. Right? So here we have seen a set callback uh, method, and uh, we have seen utility method, NP action. Correct. Okay, and how to pass the parameter when you call the Apex controller. When you call the Apex method with parameter, then how do you do that? So we have seen set param. Correct? Those things. Will be. And uh, and of course we have seen uh, the lightning, the lightning component, we have seen uh, data table. Data table, how to get data table, and uh, uh, and we also seen SLDS Lightning Design System, Salesforce Lightning Design System. So we have seen the basics and any convention, and uh, some of the classes like a uh, grid class, padding. Padding, and we have uh, different other classes in uh, SLDS, but also we have seen uh, how to include these, right? How to bring a standard light to the country. And in SLDS, we also seen icons, standard icons, right? How can, how can I refer the icons? Uh, example, in the lightning card, you know, we are able to bring the icons, right? Yes, by referring the category standard code and account, 
then it action program some action whatever action you like to uh, I can't see into the action okay so we have different category referring the category we can use the icon okay mostly the attribute will be icon name like right like we have in the button prompt so in the button we have seen button group button menu etc isn't it okay and uh, right more importantly even framework right framework based even based communication even framework so we have two types of event we see right component type and application so what is component type when you like to communicate uh, when you like to communicate the component i mean uh, from one component to another component in the hierarchy you go for component type right so you communicate from uh, bottom to top or top to bottom depends upon the phase the phase by default it is going to be a bubble phase and you can also make it capture phase right but it is to communicate a component in the hierarchy yes so right a component in uh, uh, one component uh, fire the event who can handle the event right so in this framework we have seen uh, creating the component uh, event file and register the event file uh, in the source component uh, the component which is firing the event so we have seen the syntax right so you hope you remember we have Detail notes and uh, right, we have access to many. We as well we'll go through it. An application type. So across component, among the component, the component need not be in the hierarchy. Then you go for application type. Isn't it application type? And uh, and how to call a child method from the parent directly? Or a method. This again uh, you know, belongs to our uh, namespace. Right, it's a component belongs to our namespace. Is there anything we uh, see in our? I think uh, our colon. Register event. Uh, right. <coughs> Register event handler. Right, and uh, data service, right? More important part, lightning, data service. How to expose, how to get the data from the database without writing Apex controller? It's like a counterpart of your standard controller in your course. Got me? The counterpart. Okay, like you have in uh, your course, uh, standard controller. We have lightning data service in lightning. Got me? LDS. We started to say it's LDS. Right. So here we have seen uh, lightning uh, tag. Lightning namespace related tag, right? Record form, record view form, record edit form. And of course, uh, there's a tag post colon record data, right? So, using which you can implement you can implement the data layer for your application, right? So, so you have seen, and uh, hope you remember we also seen navigate to a sub. How can I navigate to, uh, you know, uh, uh, a particular record you are, isn't it? So you have seen. So there are other layer uh, navigate, uh, you know, uh, an event. Okay, using this method, we will fire the event and apply global event. Right. So you need to look into this syntax. So, uh, navigate to one from one component to another component, one page to another page. How to navigate, right? 
just in just in one example. So you need to extend. I uh, see this refer different examples. We have seen now. We have seen this as part of uh, uh, okay as part of different other uh, example. We have seen this. Okay, guys should be regular. So then you will lose the context. Okay, and regular as well as you need to practice more. Else you will lose the context. So if you get on. I'm not sure whether we are here or not. And we also seen helper classes, right? Helper class how to uh, uh, move the common set of JS uh, code to helper model. That also you have seen, and uh, how to validate the standard way, standard uh, way of validating the input, standard way of validating the input. Okay, with the help of release method, you have seen. Okay, and uh, here in the in how to locate component using RID. Just about your model, right? Model only. It's also topic to cover. Model and popover, right? So using only and uh, using SLDS, <coughs> how to bring the model. You can also bring popover also using SLDS. With help of lightning. Uh, for the library, how to bring the model and pop over, then for standard method, and that also you have seen. Right, and uh, When you insert a contact number, you are redirect to details page of the contact. Whether it happens in uh, that example you see here, uh, over here, over here, maybe I'm not talking about where in the example here.
Yeah, lightning car. Yes, <coughs> lightning car. Here we are seeing. Uh, that is the lightning car. So the lightning car, uh, example, we start talking about the lightning car. See the lightning card, uh, what you are seeing, right? So you click on here, it takes to the details of the contact, right? So the contact uh, where I, you know, the contact which I uh, uh, viewed, right? It takes the details. Right? So this is what we have covered. It's not lightning card. I think it's the grid example. Grid, SRTS grid or something we have in this. Okay, how to redirect uh, to different start page. Layout, layout item, data table, Excel data reference. Okay, not copied, I will copy it. Contact list Contact this conference and uh, uh, right, the controller and we have right. Okay. So I'm just wondering where I have this where I have I mean the date when did I cover this? Sorry. Contact list. Okay, so the topic was related to, I think, uh, handler, the handler, save code, second, yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. <coughs> I have this example right away. That I will not uh, elaborate. Okay. 
right so that's why we covered that part Just trying to find out uh, when did we get that like this song. Okay. It's all SLD, day nine. Day nine. Uh, no, it's uh, been included in the day nine uh, session. Yeah, they are talking about grid and so on, right? So now we name the file accordingly so that we we'll have a reference. Okay. Uh, nine. Right. Okay, so that I will upload uh, right after the session. So let us continue with you, please. Uh, you see, new topic. It is in a dual uh, a pick list type. It is in, I think we haven't seen the pick list type of field. How to bring a pick list type and a dual pick list type, you know, multiple shape, multiple pick list type in the uh, like.
right? So here, uh, I'm selecting new space. Okay, you see here you can bring a, a quick list type. That's what you're seeing here. You can bring a quick list type, uh, uh, a multi quick list type you can bring using lightning colon, uh, zero list box. You can publish, right? And uh, with the help of lightning select, the help of lightning select uh, tag, you can bring a, a drop down. That's quite simple uh, no component. So how to bring a drop down no, like this? So lightning select and name equal to select one, right? The name that you, uh, <coughs> okay, the name attribute. Okay, and label, uh, label whatever you give here will appear here. And when you make a record equal to two, then star will appear, mandatory field, right? Then you will see that the plantation will be there. When you, when you keep the cursor and don't enter any value, then this will appear. Okay, then, then right, when you, once you select the value, this will go off. And how to include options for this lightning selector? You go with option. That's it. Like more or less similar to your HTML uh, element, and as well as uh, if you remember uh, the classic Visual Code, select, select list, right? Select list and the select option. So like that, you can bring a, a drop down option, and drop down menu with a list of options. What is this? Right. So this is they build options with the help of our iteration, right? See here, they're given some array of, uh, instead of you hard code every uh, options with the help of options, and if you have uh, options, either you get from a controller, or you have a, uh, a array of value initialized here, right? Array of values as an attribute, then how can I build the option? All you have to do is just include this option Within the for loop, that's it. It's a kind of for loop, looping statement, right? Then you will see the options it built automatically, right? You can consume like this can be from your uh, controller also, right? Controller and drop down change handle, right? So this is nothing but when I change the option, we are, we are build the application, uh, you know, to uh, to serve the purpose, right? What is the purpose? When I select then I need to perform some action. When I select any option, I need to perform a call a controller method. Then how it happens, right? It's because it help of an attribute in this select component called on chain, the event, the event attribute on chain. Right? It's it, you can easily compare with your uh, uh, other uh, right component, whatever you see. Uh, it's going to be common framework in every HTML or uh, HTML or Visual Post Classic framework, it's going to be common, on change, then you're going to call the controller. Correct? Right? So this is another. Okay, so what is this? What is this? It's a kind of RID, right? RID. So locate the component. Once they locate the component, they get able to get the component. So from the component, they get the value. What is the value? V dot value. V dot value. Right. Able to get the what are the option which is selected, right? Good, very good. Okay, got it. Are you clear? Are you clear? I don't think so. I need a, a demonstration for this. Okay, there are some uh, some components you need to go through like this. Okay, so do not expect every component needs to be. Uh, Demo. Now I have to see the demo. It's a waste of uh, time for you. Okay, so go through with this 
simple simple example thank you okay try to have an habit of uh, referring the uh, refer component library and implement it because you get upgrade right every release they have add some component uh, they add some features to the existing component right so that are uh, able to review the uh, library and uh, now refer it and fix for your need okay for your requirement for your implementation okay so this is to bring a pick list select one option from the list of options right what is this dynamic option okay so they are trying to give here okay so the options they are building dynamically so the previous example uh, we have seen hard coded options right and then here they build the options uh, dynamically from the controller so from the controller uh, what they do okay helper okay the helper it build the array of colors okay and uh, what they're trying to achieve here. Option is not built. Okay, option is built with, right? After a few, a time delay, the option is built. After a time delay, the option is built. Okay, how it happens? The order handler is right. So we call the init, I mean init method, and uh, we call the helper. We know how to call helper, helper dot, helper method name, and there's a get callback function. Okay, so targets the raise condition which option is that does not affect the new selected value. Check if any option is that. Okay. Uh, One minute. So here, uh, uh, response dot color. Okay. Helper. Response dot color. See, this is a way to declare a variable from. Okay, from this, you this is a property. You declare a property. Uh, property value property value so this is like an object we create an object uh, where the object has a property so how can i refer this a property in this object server response dot select color again got me and uh, right they declare a function and within the function we have some uh, object and the property server response dot select color again Server response dot colors. Server response dot colors. Got me. So they get uh, the properties dynamically after a time delay. Set timeout. So 2000 uh, millisecond. Okay, millisecond they get the response. The reason you see the time delay here when you load the component. And it takes right, and then you get this. Okay, then we we'll go for. Uh, how to bring the real list, which means uh, how to bring a multiple list. How to bring a multiple list. We have real list box, a component. Got me. So we, we again we build an array of uh, uh, you know values, but here it's going to be a multi pick list, right? Then we follow 
it's not like there's a string of array it's going to be list and if we have a label value label value in this sense we are, we are not going to have any options uh, attribute here to build the option your list box required this options needs to be built the option attributes needs to be built how we are going to build the options with the help of a label value type of uh, map the kind of map or attribute right uh, name value pair refer it any any anyway if you know this format in json how will you uh, provide the name value pair in this format only where is this okay this right how do you uh, set the value for your uh, set param how do you set the value for a set param set param params is more than one then like this right name right if you have array if you array of uh, json uh, right json format uh, using json format you will set value then it's going to be like this third year following right so within this square bracket each option take this format okay so this how you will build it <coughs> and uh, and label is select languages and uh, any help text you need if you have this attribute this is not mandatory this is optional field level help then this question mark will appear when you keep the cursor select your preferred language whatever uh, text we given here that will appear okay follow this all of you follow this and uh, source label right you have two box right and what is the label for the this box available right available a follow this model view I don't need a component right? for the application right? I get there, right? So to have the title for uh, table for uh, select box and selected box. Option, option, right? Okay, and uh, they have a method maybe handle chain. Handle chain you can fire when on chain, but it's not mandatory, optional, right?
Okay. So when I click on this on change event fire, I'm able to get back. How to get the value from this uh, uh, from here? How to get the value into the controller? How to get the value into the controller? Okay, this is array, right? This is a list. This is a list of uh, values. Okay, so we need these values. We need this value. These are all like a parameter, right? How will you get the parameter in your controller side? Normally, what method you will use to get the parameter? Based on event, this is an event, right? On change event, I need to get the parameter. On change event, I need to get the parameter. So see here. Uh, event, on change event. So we prefer the event attribute. Get parameter. Okay, so what is the parameter you are looking for? What is the parameter uh, we are looking for? We are looking for, uh, sorry, we are looking for, say, for example, I am looking for label. Then I say label, right? And, uh, sorry. So let's set the value. Okay. Get parent and Of a day, you come to know what are the methods available that you can perform against the event. What are the methods available to perform against the event, against the component? You can find it in the other developer uh, okay. Let's start. Here, right? returns the value of an events parameter. Okay. Name might have got to the name. I believe it is not there. Name. Sorry, let me see. Okay, the name of the event, right? It is to get the name of the event, right? So, got it. So, the name of the event, uh, like uh, what is the event based on which uh, change event? Okay, and in order to get the label, maybe you would have tried different other way. Get source, get face, get source, 
this is going to return which compound has five events. So in this example, you will get a, a dual list, dual list box. Okay. Get parent, get parent value of all the event parameters. Okay. Parent, get parent, get name, get event type, get get rows. Right. <laughs> so here, in this case, we go with the get Funding. Let me check uh, another example. Uh, this box is default selected option. So some options are selected by default. When you uh, load the select uh, dual box, some options should have been selected out of it. Okay, uh, should have been selected already. So, how to bring these selected options in this uh, select box? Just like you have attributes, that's it. You have attributes like a, uh, see here, uh, your values, okay, values and b dot values, right? Uploaded, so we have uh, options. 10, 5, 7 already been selected. So we use attribute value attribute. That's it. Value attribute, you have to populate array of value. Uh, that how do you populate uh, the options? How do you populate the options? You know, options is responsible to bring uh, selected options, options, selected options, right? If you would like to bring some options on the right side, when you load the component, then you go with another attribute called value. That's it. Value, that value. So what they do here, uh, init function will run when our handler init event occurs, when the component is initialized, right? So here, uh, you'll see, uh, with help of for loop, right, they build uh, options 1, 2, 3, till 15. Till 15, isn't it? Okay, start from 0, then it's going to be 14. Okay, 14. So start from 0. Till 14, they build the options dynamically and push it like array. Array pushes array, you no know, method to push element to the array. Pushes the method to push element to the array. So items the list. Okay, able to follow this. So they push all the items, then uh, they set v dot options. So in this statement, right, you'll get all the options you are get. But they are, uh, uh, you know, they like to. Uh, Set values as well. Values. As well. So when you do this, what will happen? Automatically, the option that you are adding here, right, that will be excluded because value is nothing but a subset of option. Value is nothing but a subset of options. You know what is subset, right? You are not familiar with the subset. When you say subset. Your mini page layout is a subset of the page layout. You got me? So this is your options and uh, this is values. Value and the option. The outer circle is the option. The outer circle is the option. Okay, so we have 10 options. So 10 options in the options only. And when you when you make two options among 10 options in the value, then Okay, options outer circle, right? Excluding these, we'll have only eight options. So that will happen automatically. 
Can you add a three options here? And automatically, those three options will be excluded. That's a, that's a, that's the purpose of this attribute. Right? So, and on change of these, they are trying to build, uh, perform something. That's it. Get the value and display. That's it. Then, okay. What about this? There are two options here locked. Okay. It's a mandatory. The mandatory, I know the user uh, has to select. You cannot exclude this. Okay. The scenario, like, you know, uh, when you go for selecting the, uh, the product, okay, selecting the product, uh, for example, you are uh, purchasing a computer and you, you, you see here the disk will appear. So, what is mandatory? You know, if when you're purchasing laptop, for example, laptop and, uh, you know, the power guard is mandatory. You cannot exclude that when you buy the laptop these two must be selected optionally the accessories will be selected okay you may need a an additional you know headset right you may need a speaker right so these these things you can uh, exclude but this cannot be excluded the laptop and power guard is mandatory the other like uh, you go for a cleaner you go for a wireless mouse so those things optionally you will select. You got the scenario? You guys got the scenario? Okay. So this case, uh, you will go for this type of locking key options and, uh, uh, you know, mandatory. How to do that? Again, it's going to be, you know, uh, help with the help of some attributes. Now, if you go to specification, even without referring the example, you can, you know, find out. Which attribute help you to do that? Okay. Um, those label size required. Specify that input field must be filled out. Uh, at least. Record option. The list of record options that cannot be removed from the selected. So again, it's going to be a list of value, right? Record options. You need to build. See, for example, here record options. And uh, we're going to have this. Okay. okay. So here again, you need to set this. Uh, like this okay you need to build this uh, Okay, this one you are going to build dynamically in the controller side. What will do?
both things we are going to discuss. Okay. These things we are going to build in the uh, here in the control cell. This is nothing but your control. So both things we are going to build. Yes, doing it. Line number So this is application and uh, what we are seeing is this uh, what we uploaded is uh, conference so let me create the application. Doing it. We're going to populate, okay? So that. Initialize. Then we're going to build option. The same options you'd like to build. Uh, no. Is it? Yeah, same option you'd like to build. Just copy this. Put your reflection. I just know this as a
right? Got it, right? Okay. So uh, now we need to build the secured option. Okay, secured option. So this should be locked, okay? Okay. For example, uh, English and German is mandatory. Okay, like this. I'm going to set record options. My Record options, uh, syntax, uh, we need to check. Uh, here it is. This one will refer and do it, right? Okay, when you see the options, it will come to know. I mean, the other example, uh, how to set the option 10 and option 4, right? Option 10, option 4. It's just options you have to mention, not the, uh, the whole set of label and value. Just how to refer the options, okay? So in this case, I can do like this. So uh, going with the entire, uh, no, uh, the list, okay? You can whatever option you like to uh, include here, then you just go like this. Array and uh, English. Don't need to set label and value. So just label alone without any property type. You just have to do like this. Just array of options. That's it. So that will take care of you know excluding that value. Okay. Uh, first to get here. Okay, see the value is mandatory. I don't know. Application, uh, record option, list of records that can't be removed, and this populated with values from option addresses. Populated with values from option addresses.
Uh, you should have values first, then you'll have. Okay, you should have values first, then you'll have. The values mandatory. From the values only you pick it. Okay. So you see here. Uh, I'm going to set values. Values first. B dot uh, values. So you should have declared one more. I say values and values must be set. Values must be set. So values equal to v dot. Suppose you name it as my values. There is no order. Order is not mandatory, but for the readability, we keep the values first, then record option next. My values. And uh, my values dot so whatever values no uh, th these are the uh, options you are going to make it as required right these are the options you are going to make it as required so before you make it as required you know you should have those options here as well so among these values you can make a record of among these values you can make a record of i hope you will get options now uh, besides this you can see my values and components and then my values What's wrong here? Uh, record option must be a set of subset of values. Record options must be a subset of values. That's what they mean here. Okay. So where we made a, uh, a typo over here, be able to get this, a typo. Not options, yeah. We are able to bring this, no issues. And what about this, my values, my values. Okay, I just prefer the options directly. I think we have to set the value on the not the label. Right. Yes, okay. Right, right. <coughs> There's a you know the, the mistake where we made. Uh, instead, we go with the values, we go with the label. The label is not an important uh, entity here. Okay, values makes a difference. Okay, so you have to go with the value. So, and record 
option is a subset of value and value is a subset of option. That means the record is a subset of values and value is a subset of option. Let me be able to see. Now it can bring the uh, okay then that's what I wanted to talk today and minimum and maximum uh, what is this? Uh, you cannot have more than uh, no, you should at least have a three option. At least three options should be there. Okay, if you buy some product, uh, you know, say for example, you buy, uh, you know, some, uh, uh, you know, the, for example, uh, address, for example, right? There, there is a combo, for example. Then, no, you cannot, uh, you know, buy uh, on your own numbers for example i cannot go with four yeah well, either you can go with a, a three or else a, you know you can go with a six or nine like that so at least five and and you cannot even go more than ten so like that you can set the option okay so if i add here Please. 10 options is this, right? You cannot have more than 10. So how to do this? There, is a, there should be an attribute. There should be an attribute. You know, uh, where you set uh, maximum number of options. Max. And the uh, minimum. So using which you can. Uh, Integer value. That's it. They said five, ten. Okay. Let me follow this. They say minimum uh, two. On chain. That's a on chain. The on chain is five, right? So, uh, okay, if I make it as three, for example, I move this on chain as of now. And this, I move this without, right? You cannot remove this. So, like that, you can, you know, bring your real list for Right, enough for today. Uh, We'll continue tomorrow and uh, tomorrow maybe if you have time you can look into the topic how to dynamically add the component okay dynamically add the component so we are we are you now will you display some uh, input form for example uh, input form may have different section suppose i have an input form you know, where enter user enters the details of uh, personal details and address and then I know finally uh, the experience uh, details. You know, personal information and uh, address information. Okay, and then experience details. Okay, and uh, initially I would like to get only the personal details. There are three components I have. Let me. So initially, when you load the page, you know, then I would like to display only. The person details and the you know the address and experience i do not want to load it initially i do not want to load the company right which means uh, when you when you uh, build your application you include the component right you include a component every uh, application include all the components so when the page is loaded all the components will also be loaded but i do not want to include the component but dynamically i'm going to include Whenever the personal details is entered and submitted, then we are going for uh, address. So that component is again separate component, but I do not want to include that component when I load the component. The component must be dynamically loaded. Okay, the component must be dynamically loaded. Then how to do that? You know, that's a topic tomorrow. 
the time you can take to continue tomorrow. Right? Okay.